Hey everybody, my name is Melanie and I'm the owner of Lost and Found. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So typically here on the Lost and Found channel, I talk about all things home. Today I'm taking a little bit of a break from that and I'm actually offering a review of the Ybot M1 Ultra Pool Cleaner. So I get a lot of review requests and most of them I'm not that interested in because they feel like they're kind of not quite what we do here on this channel. But when Ybot approached me and asked if I wanted to review one of their pool cleaners, I said, yes, absolutely, because we really need one. And this back patio space has been a big project for our family. And really keeping this pool clean is kind of the last step of the project. But if you have a pool, you know that the work with a pool is never really over. There's constantly the maintenance of trying to keep it clean. So my kids come out here and play in the pool. I like to sit out here and read a book. My husband grills, the dog runs around. We just all enjoy being out here. But with all that activity, the pool gets dirty pretty quick. And even though our pool is really pretty small, vacuuming it is still a huge hassle. We have to get the hose out and you have to prime the hose, make sure it's full of water. You've got to run it all through the filter. Usually we wind up having to add more water back into the pool after we vacuum it. And so honestly, we don't vacuum it near enough. When Ybot reached out to me and told me about the M1 Ultra and the fact that it's cordless, it doesn't go through your filter at all. It sounded like a dream and so much easier. So I'm here today to offer my honest review of the Ybot M1 Ultra. We're gonna get it out of the box, get it charged up, get it down in the pool and let it go to work. All right guys, let's actually get this opened up and see what's inside. It's always good to see just how securely something is packaged because you don't want to order something and then have it show up and it breaks apart in the box. So, and right out of the box, this appears to be the floating solar panel. Charging Power cord. cord, charging cord. Got it? Yep. Woo! Awesome. All right, so the first step, according to the instruction manual, is to let it fully charge. Tomorrow, we'll be able to get it in the pool and watch it start working. So there's a really easy to use magnetic charging port. We plugged it in and it did take a couple hours to fully charge. And then the next day it was time to drop it in the pool. Now they recommend putting the solar panel in first and then dropping the actual robot. And it takes a couple minutes for it to fill with water and start to sink down. You can see it there. Then you can turn it on either using the app on your phone or you can use the buttons on the solar panel to get it going as well. Okay, so it's moving. It's already climbed up the wall once. I think it kind of senses the size and shape of your pool and it spends some time, like it just turned. <laughs> now it's going a different direction. So it kind of maps out your pool and does a lot of cross, you know, crossing paths. So we're gonna see what it starts to pick up. The Ybot M1 Ultra has triple drive motors, which means it can move quickly and efficiently across both the floor of your pool and up the pool walls. It also has an internal gyroscope and various sensors that help it avoid obstacles in your pool and maneuver a smart cleaning path that's optimized on the shape of your pool. It also has several different cleaning settings, including one where it will literally scrub the water line of your pool, which I thought was pretty impressive. Overall, I was very impressed with how well the Ybot M1 Ultra cleaned our pool, especially navigating around the curves and up and down the sides. And take a look at how sparkling crystal clear that water is. If you don't remember how dirty it was, that pool was dirty. There was a lot of debris and it got all of it up. And the best part was I didn't have to lift a finger to do it. 
So the Ybot M1 Ultra has two hours of runtime, which was about the time that it needed to clean our entire pool last night when we put it out here. Now the really cool feature is that when it's nice and sunny outside, you can leave it just in the pool with the solar panel floating. And after about two days of absorbing all of that sunlight, it will completely recharge the Ybot and so it can get going again. It does have an app on your phone that you can manage it. If you don't want another app on your phone or you're not quite into that level of tech, then it can be fully operated just from the buttons on the solar panel as well. The last step was to clean out the filter basket and that couldn't have been easier. There's a little button you press, it pops right out and there is a lot of room in that for a lot of gunk. So I just used the hose, washed it out and then it very easily pops right back down into the Ybot and it's ready to go for the next time we use it. I hope that that answers your questions about the Ybot M1 Ultra. There's going to be more information down in the video description box as well as links to where you can find this product. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I'll be back again soon.